welcome. I hope that you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me today, where we are going to explore Invisible Ink. We're going to take a look at the properties of some of the ingredients that we'll use to make that Invisible Ink. So if you remember quite a while ago, we did make some Invisible Ink from a solution of baking soda and water. And to develop what we had, we used heat. Today, we are again going to use baking soda and water, but we're going to develop it in a very different way. And this is pretty exciting. So, a couple things before we get started. Wear something to protect your clothes because some of the ingredients we're using can cause discoloration. If you get it on something, you don't want to get it on. And here is what we're gonna need. Baking soda and water. I've got a tablespoon of water ready to go in this first cup. Turmeric, and it is a spice. It's got a brilliant yellow color, and it's got a characteristic spicy, earthy scent. Rubbing alcohol, and it's the same bottle of rubbing alcohol you've seen before. We need something to paint with, so I have an assortment of things. I've got cotton swabs and two paintbrushes. The first paintbrush I'm going to use for painting on the ink. The second I will use to paint on the developer. Measuring spoons, and I have a tablespoon and a half teaspoon. Small bowls or cups, I've got the two cups here. I'm going to actually label them to keep straight which is which. So this is the one that the water and the baking soda will be in. This is the one that will mix the developer in. So you're going to need something to put your message on. You want a heavy paper. I've got cardstock. You can also use a heavier art paper. And you need something to protect your work area. So it can be garbage bags that are taped over. It can be old newspapers. I'm using a paper grocery bag that I cut open and just flattened out. So here is what we are going to do. To make the ink, we're going to take a tablespoon of water. Then we'll measure a tablespoon of the baking soda. and mix it right in there. And since I will be using the cotton swab for painting, I'm just gonna mix it up there with a cotton swab. So I've set that on the side. Now we're going to prepare what I like to call the developer. So we're gonna open the turmeric, pop this plastic off the inside, and we need a half teaspoon of turmeric. Ooh. And the baking soda was a lot easier to deal with, so to make sure we've got the right amount, I'm just going to use the flat edge of that. And that goes right into the cup mark developer. Now, we need three tablespoons of the rubbing alcohol and we're going to mix that right in there. So you could do this with water instead of the rubbing alcohol. It won't work as well because with the rubbing alcohol, the turmeric is going to dissolve completely in it. But if you use water, the turmeric will not completely dissolve. So it's not going to be as nice of a solution for you. And I'm just gonna mix it by rotating the whole cup. And it's a golden color, but there's bright yellow along the side. I'm gonna set this on the side for now. So what we need now is your cardstock or the paper you're using, something to paint with, and that lovely baking soda and water mixture we made. And with that, I find that the baking soda tends to settle out sometimes. And so, I stir it occasionally. I am going to make mine and use it as a greeting card. So I have cut my eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock into two eight and a half by five and a half pieces, which I then folded in half. 
So we're going to paint this on here. So I'm just going to do some branches across the side, kind of swirly. And then down here, I'm going to make it look like little leaves have fallen from the tree. And that's that part done. So the baking soda and water we're done with. We're going to bring back our developer. We need to let this completely dry. I'm going to set it on the side for now. I made a few of these earlier and they have some residue of the baking soda on there. So we're just going to wipe that off. This one you can see lines because I kind of wanted to make sure I drew exactly what I wanted. So we're using it more for its decorative properties there than its invisibility. And I think the one we just finished is ready to have that wiped off too. So let's, I'm going to use my larger brush for this. I've got the turmeric and rubbing alcohol mixture and let's get started painting that on. And where we paint it on, no, as I paint it on, I want to get good coverage because like I said, I might be using these for greeting cards. So there is my first one. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. Let's go to this next one. The next one I did some silly things with. But I find that to be the fun of creating. So like earlier today, my day was not the best, but I decided to just do some creating. And so I did. And feel much better. So the creative part of my day was a lot of fun. So you can decide how you want to do this. Like with this pumpkin one, I did thicker lines and thinner lines, and you can see that, I think. And so now, we're going to set those on the side to dry. And I'm just going to move them over to the side because we still have one more to paint on. And this one is not as dry as the others, so it probably hasn't had as much time for the invisible ink to sink in, so I was going to say it's probably going to be a lighter color, and it is. And that's because it just, the baking soda and water solution didn't have as much time to interact with the paper. All right, and there we are. I'm going to get rid of this so nothing happens, and I'll be right back. And there are my four cards done. And they're still wet, I'm just going to set them on the side to dry. So I hope you enjoyed our invisible ink exploration. And I just want to take a minute to talk a little bit about how that worked. Our baking soda solution is a base. and as we painted it on the paper, it was absorbed by the paper. And once it dried, it was not visible. When the turmeric and alcohol mixture comes into contact with an acid or base, it changes color to a deep red, as we saw. Anywhere that we painted 
with the baking soda and water changed color once we painted on the turmeric and alcohol mixture. A few things to note about Invisible Ink. Invisible Ink has been in use for over 2,000 years, which means people have been keeping secrets for a very long time. There are lots of different recipes for Invisible Ink, and in a past video we used a combination of baking soda and water, but the recipe that we used used heat to develop it, and I'm going to link that below in the description in case you want to check that video out as well. And I hope you enjoyed our further exploration of Invisible Inks today, and that if you did, you will give it a try. Thank you so much for being here with me, and I'm going to be back again soon where we'll do more exploring and more creating, and until then, I hope that you continue to explore your world and use your creativity to improve it. And thank you.